Hi, it's Rebecca. Uh, so this video is just basically going to be me going through and doing like a preview on these magazines. So I got a thing in the mail, uh, I guess because I subscribed to Crochet Royal because I think these are owned by the same company. Um, so they sent me a subscription offer, which was two years of the magazine for $25. So uh, this magazine is uh, it's seasonal, so it's four issues a year for $7.99 each. So that'd be like $56 normally plus tax. So $25 isn't bad. I'm, I like getting magazines with patterns in them. Um, so I'm just going to go over the uh, winter one, which came out in October. It says displaying until December 22nd. And then I'm also going to go over the, uh, when I first subscribed, they sent me this one, which was the most recent issue that had come out. So this one, uh, they, they were supposed to take it off the shelves September 26th. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it and I'll just kind of be flipping through, showing the pic pictures and, uh, let you know which, which one of these patterns I like the most. Okay, so our first two patterns are, we have Toasty Pocket Warmers. Hand warmers can be made in any kind of combination filled with corn. Oh, okay, so you fill them with corn and microwave them up um, as like little heat, heat pockets. <laughs> uh, so these are made with a DK weight cotton yarn. So that's an interesting idea. I've never done anything like that before. But, and then we have this quick and cozy scarf, and this is made with a four-weight yarn. It suggests Mandela Ombre. I have some of that yarn. The scarf features relaxing two-row repeat pattern. It's just it's enjoyable for beginners. It's for advanced. It looks like it's mostly a lot of double crochet. Uh, yeah, a combination of double crochets and then single crochets in the spaces in between. Let's just love these bracelets. Check out Beans Inc. Uh, okay. So in here, um, it's just a tutorial. So this um, seems like it's mostly about like if you had a free weight yarn but you wanted to work a four weight yarn pattern. Um, it's just saying how you can like go up a hook size and then it, it gives you some math of like figuring out how to match the gauge or figuring out if you need to do more rounds. So this, that's that page. And then we got these different sized hats. Looks like these are mostly done with extended single crochet. Uh, so worked in and around and it doesn't actually... Oh, it's, okay, number four weight yarn. So just a worsted weight yarn. This is an interesting hat, the Waves hat. I've never seen a hat quite like that. Um, so this is made of a four weight yarn, Plymouth, Plymouth yarn, Encore, Encore worsted medium weight acrylic. Oh, yes, yeah, just any worsted acrylic yarn. But yeah, that is a definitely an interesting pattern. Over here we have a poncho. I like this poncho. So this looks like it has cables and I'm not sure if those are popcorn stitches or cluster stitches. And then this is also just a made with a four weight acrylic yarn. And it's got a little easy assembly diagram. Yeah, I really like the texture on that poncho. I don't usually like poncho as much, but that one's pretty nice. And then here we just have some fingerless mitts. And these are done in a DK weight, wow, the cotton rayon alpaca nylon roll yarn. Baraka, Baraka Fiora Light. It's a, that's quite a mix of yarn. Uh, and then over here we've got a basket. Very fun indoor snowball fight. So I guess you make the basket, which kind of looks like a bear, 
and then you can make these little snowballs that your kids can throw at each other. Um, so this is made, the Bears made in Burnett Baby Blanket Yarn, which is a six white. And then the snowballs are just made in, a, in, the, in the acrylic yarn. Uh, so this is a long skinny scarf. Indeed it is. Uh, this is a Plymouth Yarn Encore Worsted Medium Weight. So a four, just a four weight yarn. Uh, and then I wonder how you get the color in. Okay, so to get those colored parts, so they're working it in rows this way, like long rows, and then they're joining in the red, and then going down and crocheting in a skipped stitch to kind of make that shape. So that makes sense. And here we have a sweater, or a pullover. Uh, so this is made in a four-weight yarn. They recommend Cascade Superwash Merino, uh, Merino Medium Weight. Uh, so yeah, this is what this sweater looks like. I have so many things I want to do with sweaters. Like, I'm trying to knit a sweater. So, I don't know if I'll get around to cro crocheting a sweater soon, but... Uh, the kind of v-neck peephole thing is interesting. Kind of weird. And then this is just another picture of the sweater, so it's got more little peepholes up by the shoulder. Okay, so this is... I like the blanket. It's This is a blanket and reindeer pillow set. So the blanket is, I believe, Red Heart... Kugi bulky yarn, which personally I've never seen that yarn. Uh, and then the pillow is made with Red Heart Super Saber. But I like it's like Christmas explosion, but I kind of like it. Oh, and it's like the pillow, you it, you make it so that it has like a pocket that you can fit the blanket in. That's kind of that's a good, that's a cool idea. Make it more like compact for storage. So this is a really pretty scarf. Um, this is made with a one weight yarn. They recommend a one weight uh, merino nylon blend. So it would probably take a while to make, but I really like like the texture of the scarf. And for this one, it says pattern. Uh, well, it doesn't really get into the pattern, just this, the, uh, the materials in the gauge, and then it says continued on page 65. Uh, so we've got ads. Then we get to the next pattern. So this is Harlequin sweater. Have fun with interlock crochet. I've never tried interlock crochet. Um... Personally, the whole kind of checkerboard thing isn't a thing I would wear, but this is made with a free weight yarn. And they suggest in Barocco Vintage DK Light, which is an acrylic wool and nylon blend. And then we have the Modern Cable Pillow. It's pretty cute. Of course, you can make it in whatever colors match your decor, but this is just made with a uh, worst weight yarn, they recommend Premier anti pillin Acrylic. So yeah. It's got a cable on one side and then the black so the black panel is made. So it, looks like it looks like they're just alternating single crochets and double crochets on uh, the side. So that's that's pretty simple. Then we have Slanted Squares Lapgan. So this is a corner-to-corner -corner afghan, which looks pretty good with the pillow. Um, and then we... So it's recommended Karen 1 pound, 
uh, the Ford weight medium acrylic yarn. Uh, and then it has a chart, which I'm not going to show you, but yeah. Then we have a bag, a uh, stripes and tassels tote. So this is made with a four weight yarn, the recommended Bernat Super Value acrylic yarn. So just, yeah, just value acrylic yarn. So we got stripes, tassels. Almost looks like they're doing some kind of cord. This one is continued later in the book. So I'm not sure what stitch you're using exactly. Okay, and then one row Verona. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce that. Um, but yeah. They kind of look like scarves. I'm not sure what the difference is. Uh, not really my thing, but it says this is a, I guess, just one run row repeat, but then you just change the colors. So there's that one. And they're recommending, so a four weight yarn, they recommend Cascade Yarn Specific Wool and Acrylic Blend. Okay, this is kind of odd. This is the Modern Sampler Fro. Learn four different stitches while creating this carry-along project made with chunky and super chunky weight yarns. This will work up easily or quick, quickly. So I kind of wonder how that works. So the white is a five weight and then the super bulky is the gray. And then somehow they're combining those. And it's four different squares. So very interesting. And then here we have some socks. Some very bulky socks. Uh, these are made of homespun bulky yarn. Which, did they discontinue that yarn? Because I just bought some of that on clearance. And it kind of seemed like they discontinued it, but maybe they're going to bring it back in uh, different colors. I don't know. But yeah, these have a lot of front post double crochet and back post double crochet. Very, very, very bulky socks, but they would be nice for just like, you know, chill on the couch, you got cold feet. Kind of cute. Okay, and I like this shawl. This is the Cascading Comfort shawl. I just like the stitch that they used here. And it says that they used Lion Brand Date Nights yarn. Which I actually have a bunch of that yarn that I got from my estate sale haul. But yeah, I'll have to check out this pattern. So they got front post treble crochets. And the rest of the pattern is on a later page. So I'm not sure. But yeah, I just think that's an interesting stitch. Then we got uh, Victoria Fingerless Gloves. These are fingerless gloves with a cute little button there. And they made this with King Cole Fashion Erin Medium Weight Wool and Acrylic Yarn Blend. Of course, you could just use a four, weed, four weight acrylic if you wanted. It looks like it has kind of like a bit of a sheen to the yarn. Um, but yeah, cute gloves. All right, and another poncho. I don't like this much, this one as much as the first poncho, just because it's, um, I guess, just not as interesting. Um, but this is made with red heart with love, uh, worsted weight acrylic yarn, and the uh, actual pattern is on later page. It says it's the raised ripple stitch, which is very similar to the alpine stitch. Not exactly the same. Uh, it uses front post double crochet, while the alpine stitch uses front post treble crochet. Okay. Okay, I like this. <laughs> I think this is a pretty cool looking sweater. Um, and up to, size is up to 5x. That's a pretty good side range. But yeah, this, this sweater has cables and everything and kind of an interesting stitch here and it looks like 
maybe just double crochets on the sleeves. Uh, and this is made with, or this one was made with, Malabrigo Rios worsted weight merino wool. Um, but of course you could use like any worsted weight yarn. I might end up making this one. I like, I really like this design. Oh, and if I didn't say, this one is called the uh, Seralina sweater. It says stylish laid back look with embossed texture. Is sure to make the sweater one of your favorite winter pieces. Made with simple front post stitches. The garment comes together easily and offers great style. Interesting. Okay, so this is apparently a reversible beanie. Um, they used Omega Sophie medium weight wool slash acrylic yarn, but you can use, of course, any number four weight yarn. So this is what the one side looks like, and then apparently turn it inside out. And it looks like that. So that's interesting. This side uh, definitely has a lot more texture. Okay, here we have another pair of fingerless mitts. These are the textured top mitts. This was made with red heart soft. Um, I, you can use any medium worst way to curl like yarn. So these have the uh, what's it called? Dragon? Here. I think they call this a dragon? Oh no, the crocodile. Crocodile stitch. My bad. Have you ever made anything with the crocodile stitch? I haven't. And in the back, we just had the continuation of all the patterns. Um, we have a yarn weight guide, the uh, skill level guide, stitch guide, and then we have uh, our compilation. So I think my favorites were the poncho, uh, the interesting hat, um, this scarf, though, with a one-way yarn, I don't, I don't know if realistically I'm going to do that. <laughs> um, really like the sweater. And I'm interested in how they used a bulky and a super bulky to make this blanket. And then this pillow is also nice. Um, doesn't really go with my decor right now, but I like it. So yeah, this magazine is $7.99. And... That's what comes in it. So, if you are interested, uh, I would check your local craft store or bookstore and see if they have it. Okay, and then this was my uh, autumn book. Now, this says that it was supposed to be taken off the shelf um, September 26th, so I don't know if you can still find this one anymore, but I'm just going to go through it real quick. So this is kind of just a uh, overview of all the patterns that were in this book. So it's like we got about about 19 patterns, I think. Okay, so the first one, um, we got some pumpkins. These are beginner pumpkins made from rectangles and single crochet stitch. Oh, so these aren't working around. That's interesting. I've made pumpkins before, um, but I make them worked in the round, so I like them that way. Probably not for me. Uh, and then we got basket embellisher. So this is, I guess, just the part, the, this lacy part that you put around the top of a basket. It says, bring a breezy 70s vibe to your home decor. So this is made with a free weight cotton yarn. They used a mega tono light worsted DK weight. And then next up we have the easy hooded pocket scarf. It's a scarf with pockets. And they used Lion Brand Heartland medium worsted weight acrylic yarn. And then for the pom pom, they used Lion Brand Gopher Faux Super Bulky yarn. I want to see how they did the pom pom. That's interesting. Because I, I have a, a lot of fur yarn. I didn't think of making pom poms out of it. 
Okay, and then we got this top. This is kind of uh not my style, too classy lady for me. <laughs> but it's uh they used a DK uh Barocco vintage DK uh lightweight acrylic wool and nylon blend. Uh so yeah, it's like a kind of like a short sleeve vest with a belt. Interesting. Okay, now this one I like. Uh, I have a pattern for a hat that kind of has like a, a leaf design like this. It's like, uh, and it has a pattern that looks similar to this, which is there's like 50 pictures of this where you're doing slip stitches to make, like basically the whole thing is made out of slip stitches. Um, so that's one page, another page of pictures, another page of pictures, another page of pictures. Yeah, lots, lots and lots of pictures. Um, but I might make it to go with my hat. Let me see if I can find that hat. This is my hat. Um, this was made with slip stitches. Um, I think with Red Heart, uh, I can't remember. It's like Lion Brand lines, Landscapes, but I think think this was a red heart one i'm not sure it could be either one i have a hard time telling the difference um but yeah i feel like these would complement each other um there's probably a way that i could use this kind of leaf pattern to make this but honestly it's kind of confusing and i probably don't want to figure it out so i'll, I'll probably just use this pattern and then next up we got the avery sleeved shawl so it's a shawl with sleeves and this is made was made with uh barocco ultra wool medium worsted weight wool yarn um, but of course you could use a worsted weight acrylic if you wanted to so i've never really seen one with sleeves before it's interesting and we got a pillow uh looks like it's yeah bernat blanket uh, super bulky weight blanket yarn. Um, so they use a co color cinema, which I guess is a variegated color, and then they use white for the eyeballs, and a bit of sun soaked for the beak. Okay, I also like this one a lot. This is the fall textured cowl. I like texture, if you if you couldn't tell. Um, and this one, they used Plymouth Encore Chunky Bulky Yarn. Uh, of course, you can use any bulky five weight yarn to make that. Got a lot of, a lot of texture going on there. I like it. Okay, this is another one that's not really my style. I don't, I don't know about like having a sweater that's all ribbon. Um, but it's like they're doing. Probably, okay, so it's half double crochet. Da, da, da. Half double crochet back and forth. And they used a Premier anti pillin so a four-weight four acrylic yarn. Over here we have a bag pattern. This is the Voyager's crossbody bag. And they made it with Lion Brand Kubu, which is a number three weight yarn. Yeah, oh, that's pretty cute. I might just, probably I would personally just make it with cotton instead of Kubu. Though I've never used Kubu. It's cotton and rayon, so yeah, that'd probably work. Or you could just use cotton. Next up we got a rug. And this is fall leaves rug and they used a six weight yarn uh oh gosh ship just sh sh oh god no uh sh sm okay I'm gonna sh ship just smyrna string super bulky weight wool yarn that's weird I wonder what that yarn is like because normally I would I would think you would make a wool with uh where you would make this with cotton, 
they, yeah, that's what they used. And this is a closer up look. The Sheepjus Smyrna string, but it's wool yarn. Very interesting. Okay, now this is one when I looked at it, I was like, I, I really like this one as a fall blanket. I am so behind on blankets that I want to make, but probably someday I'm not going to make this blanket. So they did Ride Heart with Love. Uh, you can use any medium four weight acrylic yarn. So this is panels sewn together. Excuse me. And some of them are wheat and then some of them are flowers. Uh, lots of instructions. Okay, that was all the pictures. And then... Next up, we got the butternut sweater, and this is actually pretty cute. I would wear that. Uh, this was made with a Brocco Weekend DK weight acrylic slash cotton yarn, a lightweight number three yarn. I'd probably make it a bit longer, personally. And then this is a closer up picture of the texture, so it looks like they're doing uh, shell stitches here. Pretty. Here is a picture of the back of the sweater. So very much like the front. Um, looks like it's probably t uh, two body panels and then the sleeves. And then we got the fall sampler sweater. sweater. Which, as you can see, has all kinds of different stitches. We got like double crochets, clusters, I don't know what that pink one is, V stitches, popcorns, all kinds of stuff. So it's definitely busy with those colors. But it's interesting. I can see like making a, a, a blanket out of these stitches, like just make it wider. Just have like a really fun uh, blanket with different stitches. And they used Premier Anti Pillin Everyday DK, so a lightweight free acrylic yarn. And there's just another picture showing our cluster stitches. Or, uh, is that like a star stitch maybe? v-stitches, whatever that is. Yeah, some of these I'm not familiar with, so like I said, maybe in a blanket it would be interesting to try to work up all these stitches. Okay, we got a... I'm not going to show you the diagram. Alright, but here's what we got going on. We got uh, cross double crochets, a uh, puff stitches, double crochet clusters, treble crochet clusters, popcorns, Length double treble crochet. I don't know what that is. I've never done that. And oh yeah, I was right. Star stitch. Uh, and then of course you got half double crochets and double crochets and single crochets. So yeah, very very interesting. I need need to learn what a linked double treble crochet is. And this one I really like. Um, this is the outer outer leaves shawl outer leaves um yeah it's like a just a leafy pattern shawl I, I really like stuff like that um so they used universal yarn uh deluxe dk super wash lightweight wool yarn um but you could do it with any number three yarn you could probably even do it with a number four yarn like it would come out bigger but yeah, it's, it's really pretty I like it. Okay, here's another one where I don't, I don't really like the ribbed texture, but this is the Gracie Slouchy Cardigan, and they used Plymouth Encore Worsted Medium Weight Acrylic and Wool Yarn Acrylic Wool Blend. Um, but yeah, you could use any four weight yarn. Not my thing. 
I like cardigans, um, but I don't know, there's something about the rib the ribbon is all over the whole thing is weird to me. Okay, and then we got the Wanderer. Oh gosh, I, I'm not gonna be able to say this because I have problems with R's, but it's the Wanderer Rana. Which again to me kinda I don't know what the difference is between a Rana and like a scarf. But they're used Universal Yarn Deluxe Worsted Weight uh, Oh, wool, wool yarn. So but any number four yarn would work. And this is a lot of crossed double crochet and back post and front post treble crochets. Next up, we have a cute little pillow, the Autumn Acorn Pillow, and they use Primef Yarn Pima Reno Tweed Medium Worsted Weight Cotton Merino Donegal Tweed Yarn. So they use kind of a fancy yarn. I would probably just use a acrylic four weight yarn. Um, but yeah pretty cute. So it's got like a cable across the front and then looks like it has some acorns that dangle off of it. Okay, and then we got the Endless Mountains Fro. So it's like this is kind of like a uh, ripple stitch. And they made this with Plymouth Yarn Gina Medium Worsted Weight Wool Yarn. Um, of course you could use like a four weight acrylic if you wanted to. I really like the colors on that. So this is the uh, color 0010 variegated green, brown, blue, yellow. Yep. It's interesting. I like the color combination. The blue is kind of different. Again, we had all the continued instructions and diagrams and the uh, info on the weight and everything. So this was all the patterns that are in this book. So my favorites are definitely the, the Outer Leaves Shawl, the Autumn Bounty Fro, uh, the Butternut Sweater, uh, the Stitch Sampler thing seems fun. Um, I do like this blanket, but I probably won't make it. Uh, I like the Ivy Neck Warmer to go along with my hat. And the Fall Textured Cow was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that was the Autumn 2022 edition of Crochet Magazine. I'll just show you this real quick. Uh, this is a little booklet they sent me with my first mag. Well, actually, this came separately. I thought it was going to come with the first magazine, but it came separately. So we got the Summer Breeze Fro, which is the one that was on the cover. Uh, just a four weight, uh, they use nylon acrylic, but you can use an acrylic yarn. Then we got the Wine Country Fro, which has, I like, like, the border on that. Very pretty. Then we have the Diamond Overlay Scrap Gan, which, I gotta say, doesn't look easy peasy. But it's definitely very nice and colorful. And then we have Pico Shells. This one looks really pretty. I'm not sure what a Pico Shell is. I guess these things? Yeah, that's cute. And then they made like a baby blanket with it. Um, we got From the Heart Lapgan. Looks like it's mostly double crochets and some ch chains. Uh, we got the Cabin Retreat Fro. Looks like they're doing 
some kind of shell and then just rows of color. Uh, and we got another one that really doesn't look easy, but may maybe it's easier than it looks. Uh, but this is the step-by-step -step afghan. So I'm not sure how the, to make the color go up and down like that. I'll have to read the pattern. But yeah, double crochet steps. Not familiar with that. And then this is probably my favorite, but I feel like I have this in like a, a Crochet World Christmas magazine. That I think I have a digital download of it. Um, this is the Holiday Snow Afghan, and they used Red, Red Heart Super Saver. I think with all of these, they used four white yarns, um, some of them with wool and stuff, but you could just do acrylic. And that's what it would look like if you did, like, a blue and white color scheme instead. So this is red, green, and white, and here they have, like, a dark blue, lighter blue, and white. Yeah, and then we have just a brief stitch guide and brief tutorial on very, very basic sticks, stitches. Slip stitch, single crochet, double crochet, chain, and front loop. And yeah, that's it for that book. So, I want to thank you guys for watching my video on my crochet magazines. Um, I hope it helped you determine if you're interested in these magazines or not. And I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day.